well hello everybody welcome back to another graphic art video and today i'm going to show you something really useful if you are like me and uh, don't have much space here you know for the keyboards and stuff and have more than two computers or two computers and would like to just simply use one keyboard and one mouse here to control all of these pieces like uh, you know i have my main rig down there this one and uh, you know nuke so uh, let me just show you you know it's possible to actually set up something really useful guys i was trying to figure out my qm switch on this monitor and it wasn't working well i tried laptop my anything i ran man wasn't working good so uh yeah we found a solution and uh, it's pretty simple actually uh, there's actually a paid one which uh, we won't be using but uh, synergy is one of the softwares which you can use to actually use keyboard mouse or trackpad of one computer to control nearby computers all seemingly so you just you see like here one keyboard goes to the all uh, computers so uh, yeah but uh, we don't need a paid solution because today I will show you guys look at here I will show you how to get look at my mouse here we go we go to the right side and boom we have on this side see i'm not joking i'm using only one mouse it's connected on there the other mouse is uh waiting down here look it's empty uh, not wireless not connected i cannot move see nothing but if you use my main mouse that's the other question what about the keyboard so let's say we want to log in and uh, here we have my uh, not uh, a plugged in keyboard we don't need this we can throw this away okay but uh, look at this guys so we put my main keyboard over here we go here and we start typing yes let's go oh no now you're gonna see my email god damn it please don't hack me guys please okay uh yeah so we will not be using the paid version, we will be setting this up for free and uh, you can actually use more than two monitors but this uh, it's mainly focused on having two set up here but yeah I also have it connected on my streaming PC and it's working alright so uh, let's get started guys okay guys so we will be using this program called barrier it you can find it on github i will leave a link down in the description below and uh, what i actually advise you is to not use the latest one which is a uh, point uh, two four zero and uh, because it uh, has some problems like when you have 4k monitor like me and have resolution scaling to 150% and then if you have second monitor 1440p which is at 100% you won't be able to control the both uh, monitors I mean setups with the one keyboard and mouse because it just simply bugs it uh, your mouse and keyboard go to the top left or either top right corner on the second system and uh, yeah that makes it not work so <laughs> there you have it but uh, guys point uh, two three four version it's working uh, perfectly fine i have it here already installed i show you how it works this is it a simple program here you can see guys uh you will need to set one computer to be the server you will have your ip address here i will blur this out so you won't see of course but uh, once you have one main pc where you have the keyboard and mouse connected uh, which is my main rig here in this case set a server make sure you also go to change settings and uh, set this as well networking and put your ip address in here and make sure you disable ssl ssl for me it doesn't work and for you probably it also won't work so but you can play around i'm not sure why for me it didn't work it doesn't want you issue the secure connection on my uh, things but it works just fine if you have it on local network everything is secure no worries so everything is good so uh, once you do set up this one as a server tube that's it you just click on here see now it's already running i will click it stop if it's not running you just click start here too and then this will run so on the second pc what you need to do is actually go to the settings use the same settings here except leave the ip address empty also disable this then you can also press hide on startup you know minimize to system trace so it doesn't bother you once the computer turns on this should be working fine right yeah that's correct and uh yeah <coughs> 
you go here guys you, on the second PC you use client and what you do is simply just copy the server address into the client here and uh, make sure you press auto config off and put your IP address in here and once you do that make sure you save everything uh, press uh, stop or either press reload if it's running and then uh, if you are lucky <laughs> which you should be because this should be working though i did have some problems i had to remove i think it was a keyboard device in my device manager for it to work properly but uh, yeah i mean this should be working just fine oh uh, you do also need to set up your local network uh, sharing hope you know guys how to do that if not i'll make another video but you need to have local sharing on just like we have it here on my a770 uh, build i mean on right now it's not on so i can't show you but uh yeah you need to set up your work group station and uh, connect both pcs to the local network and make file sharing available because that will allow you to actually share mouse and keyboard devices through the help of the program barrier you can try the newest version it looks a little bit different i i would show you but for me it's not working well so i just showed for this older version which works perfectly fine no issues with it but if you have maybe two 1440p monitors and two setups that use the same scaling, then give uh, this new version a try because it's easier to set up. You have some UI over there to set up the monitor location, etc. But you will see what you will see if you will need if you will download it. You will see what I mean. But yeah, this is it. Once you do this, should be straightforward you know like i showed you at the start of the video you go to the right side of the monitor then you have on the second pc the control to the mouse and keyboard and then if you go back you should have on the main rig where you actually have it connected so yeah in uh, games i advise you to use full screen mode because sometimes if you use borderless it can lag out and you know uh, disable your inputs when you are playing so <laughs> but in some games it worked really good uh, i was playing track mania connected to the controller but i needed to check something on the right side for some reason it worked perfectly fine when i was using full screen borderless so yeah there's that there are also some a few additional settings you can actually configure here but you, your server must be uh, stopped so everything once you change everything you need to then press start and then it will work uh here i have as you can see this is my menu rig this is my second pc i have it set up because i have left right monitor so if you have second pc on the left and uh, you know main pc on the right you would just switch like this simple as that hotkeys i haven't really gotten into this section yet but uh, you can actually set some hotkeys i'm not sure to totally how it works and uh, here i advise you to switch this to off if you have one because this is once you go here and then move out of the screen to the second monitor you need to wait about one uh, second uh, to actually switch you can put less but uh, yeah to have a seemingly smooth experience just leave this off and uh, of course enable clipboard sharing enable drag and drop file transfers this we probably will need and uh, yeah some settings here you can play around if you want to but uh, that's it for uh, barrier hope this uh, enables you to use one mouse and one keyboard on multiple pc setups and uh, if you have any questions make sure to write down in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer or help you out if something is not working and uh, yeah you know if you like my content make sure to like subscribe and uh, see you in the next one guys bye bye